The statue being created of Ken Coit that will find its home at the University of Arizona, Tucson, has taken another step forward. The clay statue was moved to the studio of Abina Cronin, a master artisan and mold maker. The first step in creating a mold is to cover all the parts in rubber. The specialized rubber is made by mixing two chemicals together, which catalyze into a viscosity that can be smoothly applied to the clay surface of the sculpture. Every inch of the sculpture must be reached by the first layer. So Bina uses her decades of experience and air pressure to force the rubber into every nook. It takes days to do all the parts. Once the first layer of rubber has set, successive layers of rubber are applied, seven layers to be exact. About a week later, it is time to strengthen the rubber mold with an exoskeleton cast made of plaster and fiberglass. Using a pliable material on each piece of the sculpture, Bina makes a series of dividers to assist in segmenting the mold. Matt from Artworks Foundry assists Abina by mixing fiberglass sheets with plaster, which Abina applies to the rubber mold. Working quickly and efficiently as a team, Matt feeds Abina the wet plaster and fiberglass pieces that Abina applies to the entire sculpture. Then wet plaster is painted onto the sheets to further strengthen the cast and remove air bubbles. This too is a time-consuming detailed process that takes days to complete. On the first weekend in April 2022, all of the parts have been molded and it is time to move the molds to the foundry. Artworks Foundry in Berkeley is renowned for its quality of work and the statue will be there for several months as the artworks artisans go through the many steps it takes to complete the statue. You know, you might consider being there at the unveiling at Homecoming October 2022. We'll keep you posted.